Now, the verse that, that was quoted to me was from, was from Romans uh, 10, verse 9, where uh, St. Paul says this, if, For if you confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou be saved. Another verse is, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, you and your whole household. So it says, Believe in the Lord, and you shall be saved. Right? That's, that's it. That's all you need to do. Now, I don't want to get to go too much back and forth about my discussion with this individual. I, I quoted certain passages, and it seemed to be, you know, he just kind of ignored my thought in my mind. But let me just address this verse. What, what does it mean to confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ? What does it mean to believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ? <laughs> so when I, I don't re really get a response when it comes to this. It's just assumed that we all just know what that means. What does it mean to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ or to confess with thy mouth? Is it just simply lip, lip service? I just say, there is a person called Jesus. <laughs> I, be I believe that there was a, a person called Jesus who walked the earth 2,000 years ago. I mean, what must I believe about our Lord Jesus Christ? What does it mean to believe in the Lord Jesus? What must I believe it or... What must I confess? And I don't think Protestants have an answer to that. At least a consistent answer. I mean, must I believe the Trinity to be saved? Must I believe that Jesus Christ was incarnate of the Virgin Mary? Incarnate, born of the Virgin Mary. Must I believe those things? So what does it mean to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ? How much knowledge mu must I know? So it's not easy. That in itself should say that it's not easy. Just the simple fact of faith. <laughs> the belief, what, what it is that we must believe. Now as a, as a Catholic, I have an answer to that. Okay. But a Protestant, I don't, can't see how they could really have an answer to that what it means to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Mark 16, 16 says, He who believes and is baptized will be, sa will be saved. He who believes not will be condemned. Believes not what? This, the, the passage, believes not what? Well, if you look at the parallels, it says that in, Matthew, in Matthew's gospel, to go into all the world, preach the gospel, and baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, make disciples of all nations, teaching them everything that I've commanded you. So, what it means to be, what it means to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ is to believe all which He has taught about Himself, what He has commanded us to. We must believe the Church, we must accept the Church, and embrace what the Church teaches as coming from God Herself, God Himself church herself. So we must confess Christ when to confess Christ is to confess his church, to confess his faith. That's what it means to confess Christ with thy mouth. That confess thy, thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. That means to confess his faith, confess his church, and all of that. That entails. That's what it means. As a Catholic, that's what faith is. Faith is believing all which our Lord has, all what the church has taught us to believe. Because it comes from God Himself. That's what it means to have faith. So faith is not so salvation is not as simple as they claim. Just in the mere just understanding the term of what it means to believe in the Lord. They say, believe in the believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, be saved. Confess our Lord Jesus Christ with thy mouth, and believe in thy heart, uh, and you'll be saved. So, but, what, but there's no explanation. You need to have that needs to that itself needs to be explained. That itself needs to be understood properly. 